Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a sword fighting game. So basically, basically for a sword fighting game, we're just going to learn how to make the map and all that stuff for it te to teleport you to the map, stuff like that, and into missions. So first, you're going to go in Roblox Studio, you're going to press new, you're going to go to whatever you want. I'm just going to go for um, base plate. Next, the link to the models will be down in the description below. Of course, I already have the models. So first, you're going to go to a workspace model. You're going, you're actually, you're going to download the um, model. So it's, you're going to click the work, workspace model and leave it in workspace there. Next, you're going to click the replicated storage model. And then put it in replicated storage. This info value is for the intermission and all that. This sword. I just choose for it to be a sword, this sword is not made by me, this is all credits to Roblox or this sword, but if you want someone else you can either edit the main script, so I'll tell you how to do later, and how to change a sword thing, or you can, for an easier way, just get the gear and name it sword. So next you're going to go to the server script, server script, this is the main script, you go and put in server script service and then you go and go to start to do I script sometimes takes a while to load there then I'm just on put the transparency of this to zero just to make it look better oh wait don't change that um I mean transparency one. There. So now we're already basically done. Well this part I haven't actually made a model for you. This part you have to do by yourself. So you go make a map, make sure to anchor it because else this will all not work because I've already made the video of this, it would have been uploaded like five days ago if it wasn't for I didn't anchor it then I was not bothered to edit it to change that to um, cut out the part where I didn't anchor it so with, I'm just going to make a basic map you can make it as detailed as you want I'm just going to do a basic map I think I'm just going to do a basic farm map the field on oh, field by the way don't hate on my building I'm better at scripting the building as well this is just an example I'm not actually putting in effort to build this anyway so next after you've got this you're going to group it together and make sure it's anchored again and you're going to call the model wherever you want like I'm just going to call it map 1 so then you're going to in, go and copy a part from there and you're going to name it spawn and you're going to make the colour of it white material plastic so now this of course you can see it's going to be a spawn uh, you probably want multiple spawns so I'm just on put multiple spawns around a place so let's we need to have can collide so people can walk through them so untick can collide um, then you go and make them transparency one so no one can see them then you just go and just scatter them around the map put some, one there put one there I'm just going to put 6 just because I want to put 6 
So this is one thing. It's important. Actually, before we say that, um, group the spawns together, all the spawns, and name it spawns. Name the model spawns. So before we do anything else, it's important that you name the spawns spawn with a capital X and the model spawn, not X, I mean capital S, and the spawns, the model, with the capital S as well because else this script won't work you may want another map so I'm just going to make another map over here I'm going to name it map 2 then I'm going to make this pink instead and we're just just to prove it does work we're just going to put it all over there and this one all over there so now let's just edit the main script and tell you how to edit the main script. So as you can see, all this, all this is from the beginning. First, because I haven't been bothered to do it for you, you're going to delete these, this. So then this is not in green. Then this, you're going to open this up and this is where you can change the names and you can change the names so like Anderson or like time let or like or like main script five four three two one and right here four i equals fifteen. Let me just zoom in on this. Four i equals fifteen. This 15 yet yeah, is a countdown, so 15 seconds. I could put the countdown to 5. I'm going to have the countdown 5 seconds. Then let's go down. This is all for the maps here. You have to change a lot for this to change the. Uh, um, so you're going to have to change all this sword, sword, new sword, new sword, and all that. So local sword equals game dot replicate storage dot sword. So you just have to change this. So like if we name this A B C D, we'll change this to A B C D. We'll change this to A B C D. We'll change this to A B C D. We'll change new. This to new A B C D and this new new A B C D. Then right here on line 55, 4 I equals 60, comma zero, take point one. This is how much so every set you don't want to change take away one because that's like every second they're gonna take away one second. So right here, for i equals 60, 60 is a game time. So I think I'm just gonna make the players have 10 seconds inside the game. Then here, status on fit line 57, status dot value equals times up. You can change this, do whatever you want for the ending, so I'm just gonna put round ended. There, then. Yeah. This is basically disabled. I disabled this. The winner part. And then state to stop value. This is the second remaining part. So, so like, it when, when we are in the game, if you're in the part on 10 seconds, like, round then before the round ended, it'll go seconds remaining 10, seconds remaining 9. So, yeah, I could change that to um, second time left. And there, that's all for the main script. So, now if we go inside the game. Can you see interviews in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Oh! 
Sorry about that, we forgot one thing. Can you see the maps? You're going to put them in server storage. There. So now if you go in the game, it'll go 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Get ready to be teleported. As you can see, I got teleported and got a sword. But 10 seconds left, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Before I would say seconds remaining, but we changed it to the second time left. And round ended. That's how you do it, and it's going to do it again. Keep on doing that. As you can see, it done the pink map that time. Maybe it'll do the brown map this time. Nope, it done the pink map again. Let's wait until it does a pink map. So like if you die, everyone dies around ends. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Get ready to be teleported. I think it's a pink. But still, it changes map. bit. So sometimes it's going, mm, I'm just going to choose this one all the time. It sometimes goes like that, but it does do different map. Let's see if we can get an example of a different map. Nope. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like and please subscribe if you haven't already. And peace out.